can fix it. Okay, so here we go. I'm super happy to have all of you here. Today is a very, very special and important day. I've been building suspense by breaking my technology so that everybody would be waiting for what I have to say. Uh, but obviously, I'm not going to tell you right away. Right now, we have a mystery guest who is ready and waiting to have a chat with me. His name is Ren. I hope that is a reference to Star Wars Kylo Ren. I'm not sure, but I'm sure that Slim Ren is going to tell us. Are you there? Because you should be in the Telegram channel. Ren. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. So good to have you on the show today or on, on this AMA. How are you? <laughs> good, good. Thanks for having me. It's, it's an absolute pleasure. Yeah. Um, so, Ren, be, before we, uh, we, we go to the big announcement, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about yourself without giving away where you're actually from. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think myself, I'm, I'm a CMO of, of a project that's working very closely with um, the community that you guys are all in. So I think it's really exciting to be here and it's a huge pleasure to meet you guys as well. And thanks so much for making time for this and to our Asian partners and friends, uh, happy Lunar New Year to you guys. Oh, wow, yeah, you're right. Is it, is it Chinese New Year now? Uh, not yet. A oh, but it's close to? Yeah, you know? yeah, I mean, yeah, it is. Okay, I, you, before the whole Blizzard Activision controversy, I was a huge Overwatch fan. And so I always knew when it was <laughs> Chinese New Year because there'd be a whole event in Overwatch and they always had the best skins. So, <laughs> <laughs> I do play Overwatch myself. Previously. You do? I'm just oh, really what? bad at it. Yeah. What do you main? Do you have I'm, a main? What do you I'm play? A, I'm a main player. I'm a devil. A main <laughs> player? Oh my God, you're <laughs> Satan. You're Satan. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, so for those of you out there that actually played Overwatch or that like the game, um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Lucio main myself, but I, I like to... Uh, I like to switch between characters, but I haven't played for a while. But we got a real Satan in here, ladies and gentlemen. A May May. Oh, my God. <laughs> cool, cool. So, uh, well, Ren, you know, you said thank you to me, but I want to say thank you to you for being on the AMA today. Um, and, and, and so just perhaps you can tell us a little bit so we can uh, actually, by the way, before I ask my next question of Ren, guys, there are several hints that you can see in here that might help you to figure out what the launch pad is because I'm announcing the launchpad, we're announcing the launchpad today, is going to be. So try and figure it out, but try not to give it away to everybody yet. So Ren, my, my next question to you, um, what should we be expecting from our partnership with you guys? Yeah, I think there's many things that we can do together. Partnership announcements with our existing ecosystem projects, kind of partnerships over there. I mean, for us, like in our, in our launchpad, we work, we work as a family, right? Everyone is close together and works together hand in hand to contribute to our community to get them involved and understand this whole ecosystem, right? So other than the kind of supports that we have in our resources, I think very importantly, it's about our community to be exposed with all of our other ecosystem projects and understand this whole uh, chain as a, as a whole. So I think that this is going to be very meaningful and very fun together. Yeah, thank you for that answer. I I, I really believe so as well. Um, so you are calling us. I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. Can I tell people where you are right now in the world, in the physical world? Um, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Ren is calling to us uh, from the wonderful uh, city of Singapore. That's correct, right? Did yes. I'm, yes. Yeah. So so he's yes, calling to us from Singapore. I've yet to be there. I've only been to Kuala Lumpur. Uh, it's supposed to be an amazing place where you can really experience how it is to live in the future. However, you, you've got quite an international team, right? The team that we're going to be working with is quite international. Can you give us uh, a little information on that? Tell us where they're all from. Sure. Um, our team is predominantly based uh, in Europe. And uh, I'm like the only Asian guy there. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, but the team is amazing. Like we, we meet up often, um, we chat. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a really wonderful team. And, you know, that's why we build, we try our best to build like the most wonderful uh, community that we can bring. Okay, yeah. So uh, to give the, if we want to give chat another hint of uh, which platform we're on, could you, could you give one regarding uh, the team? You said some of them are in Europe. Can you, can you, you know, tell a bit more about that maybe? <laughs> um, yeah, I think because um, we do, 
I don't think the the team have announced that uh, where they are in part of Europe. But I mean, we went to we went to Lisbon. Um, it was it was pretty fun. And maybe a very interesting hint is like for us is we really take pride in launching the best projects and most interesting projects. And maybe maybe the maybe the chat can mention like what are the kind of projects that they they really like. Maybe Game Five projects or kind of other projects they like that was recently launched. Maybe that would be you know we can see <laughs> whether yeah, they yeah. know. Yeah. Are there any? Are there, yeah. So, so is that a question from you to chat then? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Okay. So so let let us uh, just to be clear. So Ren is asking uh, if there's any uh, favorite projects you have out there that have recently launched and uh, what platforms they've been on. Is that correct? That was yeah, your question, yeah. right? Let's see if anybody jumps in here. Oh, while we're waiting for oh we're live guys join us yeah okay yeah that's not Nance. well we'll we'll wait for that people uh, people surely have to warm up one of the things I'd like to uh, and that was what I kind of was getting at when I asked you can you tell us a little bit more about the location of the team is that uh, we actually uh, one of the reasons we chose your platform as a launch pad is that we had the absolute privilege of receiving uh, some of your top execs. Um, <laughs> in our office in Utrecht in the Netherlands oh, yes, and yes. we had pizza together <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 I've heard I heard exactly so <laughs> they said wonderful things they, yeah oh, they said wonderful things I'm so happy to hear that so uh, of course it's it's a hard choice right now in this world uh, making a, a decision between different launch pads there's so many good ones out there um, not all as good one as this one obviously <laughs> but um but one of the decisions uh, that, or one of the things that really inspired our decision here was that we wanted to have very close uh, ties, short lines of communication, and a good sense of uh, what kind of people we were dealing with because transparently, transparency and accountability are, are very important here at your open metaverse. And so because we got to meet you guys, you guys actually came over to office and really made an effort. And then, funny enough, we just had pizza together. Uh, well, that really meant a lot <laughs> to us. Right. Well, look, I think we've got people in suspense long enough. It's been 10, 10 minutes. I, I tend to do this. So before we relaunch into the rest of the interview, um, let's, um, let's, can we, can we, oh, I didn't. Yeah, I do. I do. Here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to announce it. I'm going to announce the Five, launch platform. Four, three, two, Ladies and gentlemen, one. the launch platform we've chosen is... <laughs> yay <laughs> yay obviously this uh, was the best choice we could have ever made and we had arthur work a whole week just to make this super cool video loop and for those of you that have been paying attention because i'm just quickly gonna transition back to myself now uh, for those of you that have paid attention if you look right over here in the screen on the side on my television the solanium launchpad logo has been uh making its turns all ever since uh ever since we started the the ama and in fact i also made sure that all the colors in the in the room are more or less the colors of uh, the solanium launch pad so that was uh, a few oh, hints we really were dropping cool. <laughs> yeah that was really cool <laughs> so ren um i already asked you what to expect and you you told us a little bit about your amazing team and the partnership uh you know how we're going to go forward but uh let's let's m focus a little bit on solanium right now what's what's next for the platform what's next for you guys yeah i think for us um like maybe i can just do a quick introduction so uh, i'm ren i'm the cmo for solanium um yeah so i think for us what we really focus on is of course having a very community-based launchpad and the next kind of direct thing that we are doing at uh, fixing our existing uh, kind of bugs as well as uh, concerns that our community have and in terms of product development what we're looking at is to actually uh, it's very interesting actually is we want to be we are creating something to allow our community to vote as well to decide the projects that comes on Solanium yeah so that's that's one and the second thing is uh, of course mm -hmm. we uh we are trying to innovate we're actually this is kind of like a hint right so uh, of what we're gonna do i think more announcements will be made up soon but uh maybe just a big of a, a small surprise for you guys or a gift is that we are trying we're innovating uh, a way a new way for our lottery system to be conducted awesome so think, 
Yeah, Olivia Stan. Yeah. <laughs> so can you tell us anything more about that? <laughs> Essentially, uh, what we want to do is be able, like, for anyone to actually participate, regardless of tiers. Um, let's say for people that can contribute to the project positively. Yeah. Um, that we can give them a higher allocation. So on those lines, uh, I think once you once we have uh, announcement for that, you guys will you know you know know how this works. Awesome. Awesome. Well. That means that everybody, uh, again, has to stay tuned in for what's coming next. <laughs> Basically, every week we give them uh, cool announcements for what they have to look forward to the next week. And, and we keep going from there. <laughs> and uh, I can tell that uh, Solanium, you see, this is great minds think alike, right? They do the same stuff as Solanium. They hype you up with an announcement of the announcement. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we do deliver. And we announced last week that we were going to announce a launch pack that bad this week and that's that's what we're doing right here so okay so uh, you know another another good question i think um i'd like to ask you and then we'll let's see if there's any questions from chat by the way chat guys are you alive in there i haven't seen any chat questions yet and i really want to get some so make sure that you post your questions either in the youtube chat or in the telegram chat so my next question for you ren um is what are what what are some really big achievements that Solanium has recently um, achieved? <laughs> I think something rather um, unique and actually we we didn't really advocate this or share this that much by something that we are really rather proud of is uh, we actually fully distributed our tokens to our seed and private investors. So actually that was actually distributed I think about three months two months ago. Oh wow! So right now is essentially there's no further dilution of the token itself so that's where you know our community is really you know we're starting to really grow it in a way where community is really owning most of our tokens yeah cool that's so cool yeah i, I think that's something that uh, ultimately in the in the future of your metaverse it's something we aspire to as well to really really make sure that the community is is, is really involved uh, in, in more or less the same way as you guys have done that super cool super cool i i wasn't yeah. checking it recently because honestly i've been so caught up in everything and your metaverse that i didn't keep tabs but that's super cool so yeah I, <laughs> yeah go on what what you want to say um no i'm just saying that i wanted to maybe add on a bit as uh i think we're very fortunate or something that i'm really happy about is we get to meet a lot of very interesting founders and um you know to join our family like from you guys mm -hmm. and from there you know they'll introduce interesting projects along to us as well like from there you know we can slowly grow this whole ecosystem and community and yeah. i mean for us we're here to stay for the long term right so yeah we, i'm really very excited how things will look like like five years from now like how big our community and how big this whole family is going to be yeah yeah, I think that's a really nice one you got there. Uh, the, the, the how will it look in five years kind of attitude. I think just this morning I had a conversation with some KOLs, you know, around how how our go to market is, and for example, why we yep. we don't have a much much bigger allocation for KOLs, and uh, because that's what a lot of other you know projects like this do. And the the thing that we always come back to, the thing that's behind basically all of our decisions is that we're here to stay, right? We're not here for one year. We're not here for two years. We're here for as long as we can possibly add value to our users, to the brands, artists, and creators that will be working with us. And that also really informed our decision on what Launchpad to go with. And I think that that was something that we really connected with very nicely with you guys is that long-term vision uh, that you're here to stay. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's Yozo. Yozo is a, is a regular. He's here every week. This guy is amazing. Really have to give him a prize someday. And he got a question. He's an OG. He's an OG. He's an OG. Yeah. So Yozo says, is it going to work like launch pool? Do we need to own a slim? <laughs> oh, he said slim tokens. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. okay yeah. yeah. <laughs> to, to buy or just, uh, or just Solana. Yeah. So, well, um, yeah. maybe you want to answer that one because you know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. So how Selenium works is we have uh, two pools. We have one pool for the staking pool. If you go to our website, you will realize that we have five different levels of tiers where you can uh, stake the slim tokens and basically have a um, an allocation in the project that we launch. And the other pool is a social pool where users perform social tasks to actually get a raffle for lottery. So for our social pool as well as staking pool for tier one to tier three, uh, we actually decide the winners via lottery. 
so all this lottery is um it's 100 percent uh by by a code like we don't <laughs> there's no manipulation or anything so in that way we actually kind of um you know make sure that everyone have the equal chance and you can basically increase your chances by performing more social tasks Cool. Yeah, and yeah, and tier four and tier five will be our guaranteed allocation tier. So if, if you guys want to participate in every single project with a guaranteed allocation, they can look into tier four and tier five. Yep. <laughs> does that answer your question, Yozo? I hope it does. And otherwise, we'll just get back to it. No worries. Is there, is, is there any other questions? Let me check YouTube here. Let me check Telegram. I, I think for now we're, we're still good. Last week, people were trying to kill me with their questions. I think they're still getting warmed up or perhaps we need to find a different time it's like the end of the week in europe perhaps people are just already drunk and tired <laughs> <laughs> could be so uh ren what time is it over there by now in singapore it's quite late isn't it it's 11 p.m 11 p.m oh well i'm so happy that you still wanted to make time for us but then again maybe because no, you no were <laughs> <laughs> do, yeah, do you exactly. sleep at all be honest um <laughs> Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> um, not it's not much, especially like in this past few months. I think December we had like, like essentially three launches a week. Yeah. So that period was insane. It was last December, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It can get real crazy in this world. You know, you would almost exactly. be happy with a bear market because it means that <laughs> there will be less project launches and stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, but, um, yeah. Yeah, go on. Yes, go on. Uh, so yeah, so we I have oh. uh, we have, we have two questions here. So one I'm gonna take, but mm. the, the other one, uh, and that's uh, I'll, I'll I'll take this one. Yozo says so. So when does okay. launch happen? So we're not gonna tell you, <laughs> Yozo, because you know us. We're only gonna announce right now that we might announce next week that we know. <laughs> no, uh, look, um, <laughs> look, it, 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 we're gonna get there pretty soon. We're gonna pretty. Uh, in fact, I think that we have a date set we have we, no let me i'm rephrasing that we have our eyes set on a date and we've probably already spoken with it with with slim as well i'm pretty sure uh but we're not gonna mm -hmm. announce that today yet because there's a final eyes and t's uh eyes t's to cross eyes to dot yes but soon very soon now we have launchpad announced it's gonna be soon promise so the next question that i got from metaman is how should we look at this partnership in example what will be the collaboration what will the collaboration with Solanium look like? Well, we've already touched on this a little bit at the start, but perhaps um, you can, can tell us a little bit, bit more about that, uh, Ren, from your side. Yeah, for sure. Yep. So other than, of course, like, uh, you know, sharing uh, beam up to our community, I think other than that is like uh, what I mentioned previously, the partnerships within our internal ecosystem or even other ecosystem as well. Like for Solanium, we work with many different other launch pads and uh, the multi basically other chains um yeah other chains like bsc ethereum we're very close with launch pads but i mean for us we are very okay with working with any anyone else yeah i think other than that is just the partnership projects to really bring the project to like you know beam up to a next level and that's where we come in and for us like for every single project that we actually launch we have we basically want to establish and it's very important to us that we establish a very long-term partnership with the project right for us we don't we don't really bring any projects on board on Solanium. And when we do, we make sure that we know we give 100%. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. That's that's, that's a very good that's a very good answer. I, I couldn't have done that better myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so so let's see. Is there any other questions for now? No. So because I got a couple written down here as well that I... Uh, so, oh, oh, owl, owl. So who's the launchpad? <laughs> I prefer to read them video chat. Oh... No, 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 don't answer him. Don't answer him. Don't answer him. Let's go in video chat. No, no, wait. I'm going to give him something that will tell him, uh, give him the answer to that. Here. That's, that's for you. That's especially for you, Al. It's uploading. See it in a, in a few seconds. Um, okay. So coming back to the questions that I, I have here, I, I, I would imagine I really had expected oh, somebody answered this question. People don't know how to build suspense. Anyway, so <laughs> I would have really expected by now a question along the lines of, you know, your old metaverse, that's amazing, but why Solanium and why not, for example, Radiant, right? Mm. So, uh, and this is, of course, for you, uh, Ren, you know, that's an easy one to answer because you know why Solanium is better than Radiant. 
um, but let me answer that one from a from a your your open metaverse perspective. So uh, a couple of the considerations that went through our mind obviously was the one that we the fact that we had pizza with this team <laughs> definitely played a role. But more importantly, perhaps is the fact that um, uh, compar comparable uh, if we look at Solanium and their their track record, say over the last well you know several months of over I've, well i think it actually it's in all time but the track record has been absolutely 100 percent flawless in terms of launches right there have never been any major issues uh or any major major things go wrong and look there's there's another all the other plat the, the other platforms are also great don't get me wrong but for us quality is really 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 a very high standard that we hold ourselves to and that we want to hold our partners to and so in our choice to select a pl platform, uh, we, we went for a platform that could guarantee us at least at a track record and prove of absolute quality uh, in terms of launches. And so that was a very important decision uh, influencer for us. Is there anything you want to add to that, Ren? Um, actually, you've mentioned it really, really nicely. And <laughs> I mean, thanks so much for that as well. Like for us, you know, our, every, every single member in our team, we work over time to make sure that every launch does well. So yeah, I mean, thank you so much for that. It's my pleasure. I was deserved as well. I think that's even more important. Um, so let's see. Um, another question that I totally had expected and that I'd like to address right now uh, is the one that <laughs> is, you know, why is Yom launching in just one launch pad? So your old metaverse is launching right now only on Solanium in the short, in the, in, in the near future. Yes, of course, there will be more, you know, uh, DEXs, etc. following. But right now, we're only launching on Solanium. So why is that, right? Well, the answer to that one is that we really want to have one focus point for our efforts. And here again, it connects back to that, that, that thing that I mentioned about quality, right? So for us, our efforts and interactions with the market and the community at the outset really need to be perfect or as close to perfect as we can possibly get. And as soon as you start uh, moving you know, your focus across different launches and different platforms, et cetera, et cetera, different DEXs, it becomes very, very complicated very fast. I mean, let's face it, we're in a crypto market. It's complicated by nature to get everything done properly. Uh, and half the world doesn't even understand what we're doing. So in, in order to get that quality right, we decided to do a few things very well rather than try and do everything all at once. So that's one. The other thing is that when we want to, well, we want to keep it liquidity of the project um, as high as possible. So also go, moving to different platforms, moving to delivering launch pads and DEXs and, and other exchanges means we'd had to, we'd have to dilute, right? And ultimately that doesn't serve again, our focus on quality right now. That's not to say that we won't in the future, but that definitely informed our decision. Um, so Ren, um, is there anything you want to ask me right now? Anything that if you had been in the audience right now, you'd want to ask? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think something will be very interesting is um, like how how will you like this is something that I'm personally I also very interested to ask as well because I, I re really quite I think you you have this really in, like cool voice that <laughs> kind of really can kept, captivate the audience, right? So uh, I think one question will be given this whole market condition as well as, you know, this whole uh, um, sentiment in the market as well. Like how do you uh, foresee possibly how Yom will be like in maybe five years down the road? Ooh. Oh, this is such a dangerous question to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, great question, Ren. Thank you so much for that. I am going to going to try and answer that within one minute okay so everybody get your stopwatch out or is it okay i'm gonna start in five seconds the future of yom five years in the future imagine that you're at your home you're wearing augmented reality headset because by now they've actually reached consumer affordable levels and you have a phone in your pocket that doesn't actually have a screen because your screen is projected through your augmented reality headset as you get up in the morning, you know and you realize that you have to go to an important business event where you have to do an announcement. And right after that, you actually have to go to do a workout with one of your best friends. You don't have to leave the house. You're not even putting on pants because you're comfortable the way you are. You turn on your headset, you press a button on your little phone receiver in your pocket, and you launch into you know your, your standard living room 
in the virtual reality, augmented reality. From there, you press a button and suddenly you walk onto the stage and you do the morning announcement for what's going on at your company. About 20 minutes later, after you've done your presentation, you move out of there and you, you buy an NFT that allows you to instantly jump to your new gym class, which is actually Beat Saber in virtual reality on your open metaverse with your best friend. Once there, you decide that, you know, it's great to have good, good gym clothes at home, but you also want to have some cool virtual, you know, assets to wear, you know, some cool gym clothes for your avatar while you're playing Beat Saber with your best friend. Because if you've beaten them, you got to beat them in style. So with some, NFT, with some tokens that you've saved up, you buy yourself some cool NFT swag onto your old metaverse platform straight from the marketplace, which is accessible through your augmented reality experience. After that, you go home satisfied after a good day's work and an amazing workout. Did I make it in one minute? I probably didn't. That's the future that I see for <laughs> your open metaphors. Is that something you would do, Ren? That's a, yeah. That's that's really amazing. Like, <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy the storytelling. I uh, wow. thank thank you. Yeah. So, for those of you Time that haven't, is... <laughs> yeah, go on. Oh, oh, I think um, I do you feel like crypto? Like, just one month feels like a year. Can you imagine how long that's five years for you? <laughs> oh, man. Down the road for you. so many things changes like among the years like this whole i um, mean this for this bull market as well as so many things that rapidly changed like in just a year's time yeah yeah absolutely i i couldn't agree more with that one um it's funny because today i saw this infographic which i shared in my marketing team and it shows uh, a timeline basically from you know the 1800s until the 2000s and beyond and then it shows technological developments that really changed society, right? That really changed the way we interact with each other, with the world. And you see, you know, there's like a handful in, in a span of 200 years. And then suddenly in the last century, so between, you know, 1900 and 2000, things start to speed up. And you see that the curve goes exponentially up. And then suddenly it starts to be, you know, new breakthrough, a new breakthrough. And at the end of it, it says something, well, somewhere in the middle, when it's starting to really peak, like it's a Mount Everest, it says blockchain, right? And then the metaverse, and, and then there's a whole slew of other technological breakthroughs that are coming through now. And it shows you how it's, n uh, on the one hand in crypto, we say one month is like a year because that's how we experience time because so mm. much is happening. But on the other hand, also the rest of the world, technological breakthroughs are following each other so rapidly and making such impactful changes. And we can't even really forecast yet how they will influence each other. And that's really also where the metaverse is, uh, I think. What blockchain has been in the last few years for the world in terms of, you know, realization and breakthrough of technology, I think the metaverse is going to take it to a whole new level, especially because blockchain is part of it. Yeah, <laughs> really nicely said. All right. Well, look, what's the time? It's 4.30. I promised that I would try to do an AMA in 30 minutes. Um, so is there any last thing that you would like to give uh, to our chat to tell them something, uh, a message you sent them home with, rather either be it about our partnership or Launchpad or about Solanium or, or perhaps something personal? Yeah, I think it's... Um... It's my first time actually doing something like this and then yeah i really enjoyed it and thanks so much for everyone for um, making time for this definitely won't be the last one <laughs> you know have them definitely have many chats like this and really looking forward to you know getting uh working even closely with the young team and you know to get all this going awesome thank you so much ren it was absolute pleasure having you on the show thank you for making the time uh thank you for for taking us onto your platform as well I really look forward to the collaboration and to doing some amazing stuff uh, in the near future over the next year and beyond, of course. Uh, to yeah, you guys in chat. Uh, sorry? Uh, I. Yep, of course. <laughs> and so, uh, chat, this is uh, your last opportunity to ask any question. If not, we are going to call it a day. But of course, uh, feel free to ask any questions later on in the Telegram chat or on YouTube. Make sure that if you have really important questions, you make sure that we, we hear about that. And then I'll try and cover it in the next AMA or we'll try and answer it, of course, on Discord, on Telegram. Um, very soon, we're going to be on Reddit as well. We're working on TikTok, which is also going to take off, obviously, because we'll be making some amazing videos. 
Um, for those of you that don't know, on Wednesdays, Daniel, one of our founders, is hosting weekly metaverse exploring meetups in Altspace VR and Microsoft. Obviously, we're only using Altspace VR and Microsoft because our own platform isn't ready yet. In the future, I guarantee it will be doing some amazing cool stuff on the Europa Metaverse platform. Uh, be sure to check that out if you're interested. We already have CEOs and speakers and founders from all over the Metaverse space from now until April. So that's going to be super exciting to follow. It's going to be several podcasts that we're going to be in in the next few uh, months, uh, weeks. Sorry. So keep on the lookout for that. Um, and uh, for now, I know that you guys want to know when TGE, but that will be something I'll answer maybe next time. Thank you so much and see you. Goodbye, everybody.